Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, this is a 50 unexpected Bolos video. So what I do is I have two Facebook groups and in those Facebook groups, I post um, Bolo items. I research and I look for items that are auction style that are currently up for auction and I share those with the group to help everyone learn. I typically look for items with a lot of bids and a lot of unique bidders to just show demand. Um, then the new thing I've been doing is I've been, been incorporating them into a video because I know a lot of times I don't go back and look to see what they sold for. Like I look at it when I post it and I'm like, it's already a bolo, but I want to know what it ended up selling for. So I've created these videos for the people in the group to see what the item sold for. So you check it out when I post it and you're like, oh, it's at $200. But then you're like, wonder what that sold for? And you're like, oh my gosh, it sold for $500. So um, it's kind of like a follow-up video to my Facebook group posts. Um, let me show you my two groups and explain the difference. Um, the first group is Be On The Lookout, Bolo Buddies, Resellers, and Thrifters. Now this group, I only post in this group. So if you're looking for a group that is... Um, just posts from me where you're seeing the Bolo items and you're getting links to my YouTube channel videos, this is the group for you. If you want to, you can comment on the, um, the post, you just cannot post. Now, if you want something more broad where you can post, you can ask questions, um, there's no links allowed, but you can um, certainly ask questions and do screen screenshots of your Bolo items. Or, you can message me any item that you have that is an auction style item with bids. If you message me on Facebook, I will post it in the group for you. And then your item will also be featured in this video when I do it. Um, so this group is called Bolo Buddies, Resellers, Thrifters, Unite, eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Etsy. So it is a little bit broader. The other group is mostly eBay. Um, bolo items but this group is more broad and you can post in it so the links to both of these are down in the description be sure to join and check them out and we are going to get started with 50 unexpected bolos these are typically high solds um there are some from members of the group so there are a few that i have information on but most of them i don't know the details um, it is always nice when you know that the item actually sold and got paid for, but in most cases, I can't prove that. I can just prove that people wanted the item. All right, so the first item is this hat, and it's a hard hat, and I will say that when I went in and checked this one again, um, it said that the item had been relisted, and it sold for more the first time but it was relisted at the $240 and it got one bid. Now this did come from a um, person in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. They sent me this and they bought it at an auction in a bulk lot. So they got a good deal on it and it sold for $240. So hard hats are definitely a Bolo item if you can find the right ones. This one is called Ed Bullard. Um, and you can see it's got the information there on the tag. And yeah, just look them up if you find them because they can go for like $400, $500 even sometimes. The next item is this vintage trophy. It's a, a copper cow. And I thought this one was just really different and cool. So I went ahead and shared it. You just never know what people are going to spend money on. Now, did this buyer get lucky? Was it a fluke that maybe more people wanted it than... They expected, I have no idea, but it sold for $107.50. And there were uh, just two bidders on this, but they did have high feedback. But in this case, two people were fighting over the item. So I don't know if this is something that would happen all the time, that it would go for that much or not. But uh, definitely something to just maybe get and price high with the buy it now. The next item that sold is this live action Christie. She is a rare Barbie and it looks like she's still got the plastic on her and she is in mint condition. It appears um, a collector has taken good care of her and Christie is a great doll to pick up. She typically has high solds and is a bolo. 
She sold for $1,009, you guys. Um, let's dig into this one a little bit. I'll show you how I dig in. Um, I'm not going to do this on every one. I'm going to do it on this one just to show you guys how to do it. Um, so I'm going to click on here and you can see the winning bidder had over 2000 feedback. Now this person only has three feedback. So this should be pretty easy. Um, no feedback on this one yet. Um, but that doesn't mean anything. Sometimes they don't leave feedback. And if somebody has 2000 feedback, they probably paid. Um, look at this pose and play Tiff doll sold for $449. Let's look at this. This is a bolo in itself. You guys are getting 51 in this video. Look at that. So this, I mean, these had to have come from a collector because they've all got the plastic on the hair to keep it really nice. $449. Never heard of her. There was another one. Let me see here. Let's go back to the feedback. Uh, this one sold for 330. This is a vintage bendable leg Francie. So there she is. And they've got the fake eyelashes. They're vintage. 12 bids on that one. But you know this got paid for because they left feedback. Let's look at other items. So it looks like this person maybe came into um, some vintage dolls because this one's at $112.50. That one doesn't have any bids yet. That one's only at $17.50. And it looks like they're willing to start them low. $120 on this TNT Stacy. TNT stands for twist and turn. And Twiggy Barbie is at 52. This one's at 77. Quick Curl Kelly. And this twist and turn is at uh, Casey is at 1650. So they've still got four days left. Uh, let's look at the solds. This is a great way to learn. If you find somebody who's selling bolos and then you go in and you search their solds. Um, so you've got Dramatic New Living Barbie, 141. Julia Barbie, 113. 247 for this Talking Barbie, PJ. 212 for this vintage talking Julia, but she's mute. So they, does that mean they don't work? I'm guessing. Wow, $421. Um, and it, again, it says mute. Christy and vintage talking Brad. Tootie and Tootie's friend, 157. So I'm off on a tangent right now, you guys, but I'm hoping that you're learning right along with me. Wow. Super cool. Yep. So maybe it's a collector that just decided they wanted to sell their Barbies and they started an eBay account. So when some of these people were bidding, this person had zero feedback and it looks like everything's going just, just dandy. The next item is this vintage little kittles. Little kittles can definitely be a bolo. This one is, uh, looks like it's from Alice and wonder little. <laughs> How cute is that? Oh my goodness. And it's got the little rabbit and this sold for $221 and 28 cents with 47 bids. I believe it. Those little kittles can go for big bucks. And that one had the book and the accessory. So I shared this one and I was like, man, that is just beautiful. Like I have never seen one like that. Well, come to find out this item has been stained and modified. Um, really, really neat. Uh, really cool. And they were selling other ones also. So it looks like somebody has started like their own art. So let's see, see other items. Wonder if they're selling more. Yeah. So it looks like they're buying these and then they're staining them. Isn't that pretty? I think it's really pretty. And, um, just, just neat, vibrant, neat colors. I mean, they're cool anyway, but now they're really neat. All right. The next item is this Chuck E. Cheese walk around costume, blue basketball shorts, 71 bids. And these sold for $224 and 72 cents. If you can ever find anything Chuck E. Cheese, definitely look it up because they, these items typically are a bolo. The next item that sold is this Lisa Frank turtle peekaboo mushroom clear backpack from the nineties. This sold for $162.50 with 42 bids and the buyer paid the shipping. And you can see here, Lisa Frank. 
The next item that sold is this huge lot of Ninja Turtles. Um, TMNT, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's the abbreviation. This sold for $730 with 54 bids. Buyer paid the shipping. How would you guys have sold these? Would you have parted this out or would you have sold them in a lot like this buyer did? Let me know down in the comments. Um, this guy right here, uh, I think he has like something like a latch or a door that opens on his belly. I believe it was Emily Conway that sold one of these. It was her husband's and it was definitely a bolo item. I remember, uh, her talking about it. So if you haven't checked out Emily Conway, be sure to show her some love with a sub and her channel is her name. All right. The next item is this nine number 946 dinner at eight vintage Barbie outfit. And this sold for $100. And these vintage Barbie outfits can definitely be a bolo if you can find the right ones. So, um, super cool. I love selling Barbie clothes. The next item that sold are these He-Man Masters of the Universe. Um, it's just the weapons, you guys. And this sold for $83 with 44 bids and the buyer paid shipping. And I will tell you guys this again. M-O-T-U is Masters of the Universe. I remember a long time ago when I was first starting to sell hard goods and toys. I'm like, what is Motu? what is that? You know? And then I finally figured it out and I was talking about it in a recent video and everybody was like, thank you. I didn't know what that was. So I felt really good that I wasn't the only one that did not know what that meant. <laughs> so the next item that sold is this vintage Barbie, huge lot of dolls and accessories. This one also belonged to a member of my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. They messaged me and asked, me if I wanted to share it because it had some bids. And I was like, that's a pretty big lot. That's going to be all of those cases. And the shipping um, seemed like it wasn't too bad. So uh, maybe they had some special way of shipping, but this only went for $205 and 50 cents. I thought it would go for more just because a lot of these items could have been parted out. Um, the cases, most of the cases, it, it just depends, but most of the cases don't have a lot of value, but these look to be in decent shape. So, I mean, they would be probably a good bread and butter, but if you can find a rare case, some of those go for a little more. So 205.50 plus shipping on that one. The next item that sold is awesome. Um, one of my Bolo Buddies Facebook group members also sent me this item and it is just so, so cool. I love it. Um, I'm not a big cat person, but these are cool. And it's pebble art and they're Siamese cats. And this sold for $203.50 with nine bids and the buyer paid shipping. The next item that sold is this Lisa Frank Windows 9598 Paper Play Studio. This also was sent to me from somebody in my Facebook group. And this sold for $345 with 40 bids. And somebody, I think it was Jesse Shops. Um, and if you haven't checked out her channel, definitely go over and check out Jesse Shops. She told me how to know if Lisa Frank's vintage. And I'm guessing this one is vintage. So maybe the letters are capital, capital L and capital F if it's vintage. If you guys know for sure in the comments, or Jesse, if you're watching, can you remind me in the comments? Because she watches and comments on most of my videos. So look for Jesse shops down in the comments and she's going to school us on how to know if something is vintage Lisa Frank. And again, this sold for $345 with 40 bids and the buyer paid shipping. And they picked this up at the Goodwill for $1.99. So that is fantastic. The next item is this kiss doll and this sold for $202 and 50 cents and the buyer paid the shipping. The next item is this original Pez dispenser. This is Bullwinkle and Rocky and no feet. And I have a video on Pez bolos, what to look for, um, some of the higher dollar ones. If you want to check that out, it's on my Bolo Buddies main channel, um, the channel you're at now. And this one sold for $231 with 53 bids and the buyer paid shipping. The next item was also sent to me by one of my uh, members of my Bolo Buddies group. 
And this is just material, Daisy Kingdom material. And they sold this fabric for $231.50. It's dated 1987. And it's just got the cute bunny print. And yeah, it went auction style and people wanted it. The next item I sold is this very cute little vintage Napco Japan porcelain Miss Cutie teapot. Super, super cute. This sold for $175.50 on auction. And the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this featherweight sewing machine from 1945. And this was also sold by HodgePodge. He's a member of my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. He also has his own Facebook group. It is um, reselling research something. If you, if you search that, or if you go to my YouTube channel and search HodgePodge, I have featured his store on my channel many, many times. He is definitely a Bolo finder. So um, definitely look for him. The next item I sold is, I didn't sell this. Oh my gosh, it's getting late. The next item that sold, I wish I sold this. It sold for $1,179. Um, it's this Coca-Cola 10 stadium bottle carrier. Um, so it's like a vendor's uh, carrier, but how cool is that? $1,179 plus shipping. The next item that sold is this vintage original 1956 Disneyland souvenir map. And this sold for $113.50. So this is ephemera. And again, it can be hit and miss, but the Disney items typically do well. So definitely be on the lookout. And that had free shipping. The next item is this vintage 1961 Barbie with case. And that little doggy right there, I have that listed right now in my store with the original robe. Um, I haven't sold it yet. I got it out of a dibble box from Donatella Bottolino. Um, but anyway, this sold for $234.50 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage 1960s Vogue Baby Deer Doll. Needs tele TLC repaired, arm needs sewn. So you can see over here, it's damaged, but it still sold for $127.50 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item that sold is this amazing lot of Barbies. I mean, you got some bubble cuts here up top and I am learning about Barbies. The only reason I know about bubble cuts is because somebody has helped me along the way. Um, but you can see the wigs. I just sold a wig. I just shared a wig in one of my recent videos that I had sold and my wig alone sold for $19. So, um, yeah, definitely a really nice vintage lot. Um, I'm guessing they probably would have made more parting it out, but um, I don't know what they have in it. So maybe they were happy with $1,513. And I posted this in the group and I know that there were people from the group bidding on this item. Um, so definitely a bolo. There was definitely potential to make money on that. The next item is this Welcome Back Cotter. Um, it's a deluxe classroom set. I'm not really sure what it is. It looks like maybe um, a playset case. Oh, no, a record? I don't know what it is. Oh, yeah, it's a playset with a record. Okay, well, either way, this sold for $321.75 or with 75 bids, and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage prototype Darth Vader case. Um, my question is, how do you know something as a prototype? If anybody knows the answer to that, please put it down in the comments and help us out. Uh, this sold for $8,310. Did this get paid for? I have no idea, but I'm going to go check on this one because I'm just so curious. Uh, the person that won had 786 feedback. And this is the last one I'm going to do this with, but I'm going to go into their feedback and I'm going to type in Darth and see if anything comes up. Nope, nothing came up. So either they didn't um, pay for it or they just didn't leave feedback, which either could be either situation could be taking place. The next item that sold is this vintage new old stock NOS is new old stock Chrome BMX foot pegs. 
Um, if you want to see more new old stock items that sell for big money, I do have a Bolo category video on new old stock items. These sold for $163 with 69 bids and the buyer paid shipping. This one is really cool. He-Man, Masters of the Universe, Twistoid and Rotor, almost complete. Um, I have no idea. I've never seen these before, but wow, $660 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item that sold is this vintage cabbage patch. Um, it's kind of looks like a bunny, I think. So maybe this sold for more because um, it was sold around the time of Easter. I don't know, but it sold for $72 and the buyer paid the shipping. And again, cabbage patch are definitely hit and miss. So look them up before you spend big money on them because some of them are major bread and butter. The next item that sold is this Jordan uh, Chicago Bulls tee. It's a vintage tee from the 90s and it sold for $846 plus shipping. The next item is this huge lot of 70 toddler dresses sold for $571 buyer paid shipping. Um, I do have a video on toddler dresses that sell for big money. It kind of shows you how to list the items to maximize your profits and um, items and brands that go for a lot. So just search my YouTube channel, put in toddler dresses, and it should pull it up. The next item that sold is this ama amazing lamp. Um, I would not want to ship this. It looks very scary to ship but it's very, very cool. I wish they had a picture of it lit up. Um, but I hope Hokado, I don't know how to say that. It's a crystal lamp. It sold for $2,285 plus shipping. The next item that sold is this Bonnie Play Pal, Patty Play Pal babysitter vintage ideal doll. And it sold for $846. And she looks to be in really nice condition and super cute. The next item that sold is this vintage new old stock Coleman lantern and this sold for $270 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these 1979 hockey wax pack cards, uh, 10 Wayne Gretzky rookie mint unopened vintage. These sold for $730. It seems like there's a craze going on with, uh, vintage cards right now. So, um, I don't know. Who knows what this will look like in a few years, if they'll still be a bolo or not. Definitely always look things up. The next item that sold are these Vogue Pure White Papers. Now, this is just the tin. I'm going to guess that this is empty. And this sold for $450. If you want to see more tins that go for big money, I do have a bolo category video on tins also. And there are definitely certain ones to look for that just go for crazy money all the time. So um, yeah, definitely check out that video. Vintage Polly Pocket 1991 Locket Necklace set of three. So these are little lockets. I think I would have sold these individually um, if it were me. What do you guys think? Would you have sold them together or separate? And this sold for $53 plus shipping. The next item that sold is this rare German sheep candy container. And this sold before Easter also, and it sold for $555 and the buyer paid shipping. And you can see right here, it is a candy container. And this is that same person that scoops stuff up throughout the year. And then right before Halloween and Christmas and Easter, he puts these items up on eBay and he relists them. Now, I don't know where he's sourcing that. I like to think that he's sourcing on eBay during off season and then he's saving it for right be before the holiday. Um, that is going to take place. Now you can see in his last photo, he or she, I don't know what it is. Um, Cha-ching, I sold something. Um, he puts everything that is active for auction. So see other items. Let me show you guys this. And if you watch my channel, you've seen me show this before. He has nothing or she has nothing listed right now. But if you go to their solds, looky here, it's all vintage. It's all for that holiday that was coming up and everything goes for big money. I think that this person has a pretty solid following. They know what to expect from this seller and they wait for the time frame. I mean, look, it's like bolo after bolo after bolo. It's amazing.
Very, very cool. And I'm just going to keep scrolling because you guys can see all of these Bolo items all in one shot. So, I mean, this, this buyer or this seller who's buying these items from people, they know what to look for. And who knows, maybe they source at auctions and estate sales throughout the year. Maybe it has nothing to do with eBay. I'm just, um, I think it would be kind of cool if they were getting it on eBay and then reselling it on eBay. But they have a source. They're getting it somewhere because they always have a ton of items. And I think it's really cool. They probably collect all year and just have the timing down. So lots and lots of bolos. All right. And like I said, I think it's the same seller. And, or maybe there's multiple people that do it. I can't remember the store name. But they do it for um, Halloween and Christmas also. The next item are these old letters. And these are from the 1800s. And just a second. I want to see what I sold. What did I sell? Oh my goodness, I sold another one of those chicken toys. So I sold one of them. Um, it's a squeeze toy. I sold one of them during the, when I support that seller Sunday. And I was like, oh, I only sold it because it was support that seller Sunday. And if somebody was just doing it to be supportive and to buy something from me. And when I went back, they still had it. So I went ahead and bought the other one and it just sold. So Maybe it's a really cool item. Uh, I sold these letters for, or you know what? Let me see who bought that. Somebody left me a comment saying, nope, <laughs> that their dog perked up when I squeezed the toy. And I'm like, did she buy it? But no, it wasn't her. So, um, all right, these papers and stamps and covers, these sold for $97. Um, the next item that sold are these baseball gloves and a member of my group sent me this one and they bought these at the bins, which is by weight. Um, so I don't know how much they have in it. I'm going to guess quite a bit because these are not lightweight, um, but I don't know how much their bins charges by the pound, but they lotted these up and sold them for $115.50 plus shipping. The next item is this rare, and they're calling it vintage, but it's from 2010. So 2010 is not vintage. Retired, they have that in the title. That probably but it would have been a better word to use. But it's a mom, momiji arts and crafts. I don't even know what this thing is. But it sold for $306. So definitely be on the lookout for whatever this is or whatever it does. I don't know if it's just a figurine. I don't know, $306. If anybody knows why this is special, put it down in the comments. Help us out. The next item is this vintage Polly Pocket 1994 Perfect Playroom Nursery, sold for $56 plus shipping. This Virtual Boy 1990s Nintendo All Over Print t shirt, single stretch from the 90s, distressed majorly distressed, sold for $1,175. That's crazy. I got to look. The winning bidder had 246 feedback. So who knows if it got paid for. The next item was my listing. And this got a bid like pretty early on. And I was kind of excited. Um, I picked this up at a thrift store. It was just, they were all bundled together. I pulled out some of the ones that I knew would sell individually and I have sold some of those. So I already made my money back like off of one doll. And then I put all of these together. I could have broken these down and sold them for more. I was feeling lazy and just lauded them. I sold them for $89 on auction and the buyer paid shipping. The next item that sold is this vintage rubber face plush animal. It sold for $224.50 and the buyer paid shipping. And look at the cuteness of that face. The next item that sold is this vintage gold label Victoria's Secret. Um, it's like a lingerie negligee. And this sold for $53 with 36 bids and the buyer paid shipping. So satin items have a tendency, vintage satin items have a tendency to be a bolo. 
The next item that sold is this Rolex pocket knife and this sold for $260.55. I think we all know that if we can find something Rolex, we should probably buy it. However, Rolex can be faked, so be careful. The next item is this vintage Bon Bell roll-on shiner. Um, it's like a lip gloss and it sold for $102.50 and the buyer paid shipping. And let me show you guys something. See other items. I think this is the person. Um, let me go to their solds. And they must have ran into, I think this was the, the seller that had all of it. Let me go um, highest first. $255, $222. They got their uh, a hold of some lip smackers and some Bon Bell. $145. Look, 102, like it's not by accident. Like th these numbers are real. $65, $64, $46, $45. Crazy, right? Even $37 and $34 for some lip smackers seems crazy to me. But um, some of them did better than others. So maybe it was like the scent or the flavor of the gloss. I don't know, but they were all vintage, super cool. All right, so this is a huge vintage Barbie Midge TLC lot, and these sold for $1,210. So there's some bubble cuts in here. Um, oh, I can't remember, I don't, is that a ponytail one? I don't know, they have different names. I'm just not savvy on it. Um, but yeah, these Barbies can be big money, so. 1,210 plus shipping. The next item is this 1966 Peanuts Snoopy dog sold for $130 plus shipping. And the last item was from a member of the group. They picked this up at a garage sale for $5 and it's Homer Laughlin. Never heard of it. And this sold for $69. And this is what it looks like on the bottom. And it looks like it is a Fiesta piece. So uh, $69 on that. All right, you guys, there are 50 unexpected bolos in this video. Let me know what you think. Um, what was your favorite bolo item? And again, if you haven't joined my Facebook group, come on over, join it. And if you have an auction style bolo item that you would like to share that has bids, please feel free to private message me on um, Facebook. It's a great way to get eyes on your item and to help the group learn and to be featured in a video. All right, you guys, thanks for being here and thanks for watching.